Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams, for another edition of New Horizons, the daily podcast and radio ministry of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia. As always, I am so excited to jump headlong into God's Word with you today to just pick it apart and see what God has to share with us this morning. If you are interested in the ministries of Flat Creek Baptist Church, how you can come alongside of us, uh, how we can come alongside of you, how you can give to us, or any of those things, please check out our website, flatcreekchurch.com. Net. You can find all the information you need to know on our website. We would love for you to come for a visit at some point so that we can get to know you not just by name, but also by face. Today, we're going to continue walking through the book of Mark, Mark chapter number seven. And today we're going to be looking at one of my absolute favorite stories, favorite miracles in the Bible. We began to look at it yesterday. It's the story of Jesus opening the ears of a deaf man. Now, yesterday, I showed you how the word of Jesus had spread to Decapolis through a demon-possessed man who Jesus had healed back in Mark chapter 5. And I showed you the importance of a testimony and how important it is for you to tell people what Jesus has done in your life. Well, today, we're going to see a testimony unlike none other. What I like to call it is a one-word testimony. So I want you to listen to what the Bible says takes place in the life of the deaf man. The Bible says, verse 32, in the region of Decapolis, they brought to him a deaf man who also had a speech difficulty. Now, what this lets us know about the deaf man is that he was actually born deaf. Now, you say, how do you know that he was born deaf? Well, you notice what the Bible says. Not just was he deaf, but he had a speech difficulty. Now, that's key in understanding. Because here's the thing, friends, a person who uh, is born with the capability of hearing, and let's say when they're 25, 30 years old, they lose their hearing, they can still speak. Why? Because they know language. Someone who's maybe born deaf in one ear can only partially hear out of the other ear. They can still talk and communicate. How? Why? Because they have heard language and their mind understands it. However, someone who is born completely deaf has never heard a sound. They have never heard human language. Can you imagine the silence that this man has lived in all of his life? You know, we take this for granted. We take for granted waking up in the morning and hearing the birds sing outside. We we take for granted what it is to hear beautiful music being played inside the church. We take for granted what it is to hear children playing or to hear your mama or daddy or wife or child say, I love you. We take those things for granted because we hear them every day. However, this is a man who had never heard anything and he's not able to speak because he knows no language. So you can imagine this is a deaf man who just makes noise. He moans. You've all heard deaf people who do this. They cannot speak, so they simply moan. They groan. They make noise, but there's no language, no known language that's uttered out of their mouths. And so the Bible says they bring this man to him and they beg Jesus to lay his hand on him. So Jesus took him away from the crowd privately. Now listen, that's very key. Why would Jesus take him away? Why wouldn't Jesus just heal him in front of everyone? Well, friends, I believe it's the divine wisdom of Jesus. You see, this man had never heard anything in his life. So just imagine if Jesus heals him in front of the crowd, what's going to happen? The moment his ears are opened, the entire crowd congregation is going to begin to to scream and shout hallelujah to the Lord. And it is going to scare the deaf man because he's going to be inundated, overwhelmed with the noise that's taking place. So Jesus in his divine wisdom takes the man away from the crowd. Also, remember this, because the man had never heard, he had no idea who Jesus was. He had never heard of a miracle. 
He had never heard Jesus teach. All he knew is that people had now drug him in front of a man, and this man was taking him away in private. And I believe back there on those back alleyways that Jesus was able to look at this man with loving eyes and affection as if this man had never seen before. And that this man in that moment knew he was in the presence of the very Son of God. And the Bible says that Jesus, he put his fingers in the man's ears and spitting, he touched his tongue. So Jesus has his fingers in the man's ears, he spits and he touches his tongue. He almost has the entire man's face placed in his hands. And the Bible says that Jesus looked up to heaven, he sighed deeply, and he said, Ephatha, that is, be open. And immediately, immediately, the Bible says, his ears were open, his speech difficulty was removed, and he began to speak clearly. So Jesus, immediately, upon speaking that one word, Ephatha, the Bible says that this man's speech difficulty is removed and he began to, or in his ears were open and he began to speak clearly. Well, what would this man have spoken? He doesn't know language. So, so, so what would he have spoken? Well, friends, it is my belief that this man at that moment would have known only one word. That word being Ephatha, be open. What other word would he know? It would have been the first word he ever heard in his life. And friends, here's the thing. That one word was enough to tell people of what Jesus had done in his life. So just imagine for a moment, you're standing on the streets of Decapolis. You've seen this whole scene take place. You've watched Jesus take this deaf man away down an alleyway. And then suddenly you hear the most amazing shout coming down the alleyway. And that deaf man who Jesus took back there, who's never spoken a day in his life, who has no known language whatsoever, who only moans and groans comes running out of the alleyway and as he's running out of the alleyway he is shouting Ephatha, 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 Ephatha. Be opened, be opened, be opened, be opened. And everyone in that moment knows that Jesus has done the quote unquote on impossible, that which only God can do. He has opened the ears of a man who has been born deaf. And the Bible says because of this man's testimony, one word, Ephatha, the whole place was set on fire. Friends, never underestimate what God can do through your testimony. You might say today, well, I don't have some big, mighty testimony. I, I, I didn't come out of drugs or abuse or something like that. And, and my testimony is, is not that great. Friends, you have an awesome testimony. The same grace that saved you is the same grace that saved uh, the drug addict, the harlot, is the same grace that saved me. And it's the power of God unto salvation. And whether your testimony is that you were saved as a four-year-old little girl in Bible school or you're a 60-year-old man who come out of alcoholism. It's the grace of God, the power of God, and never hold back in sharing the gospel of Jesus and let him start the fire in the hearts of those around you. May God bless you, and I'll see you next time on New Horizons.